Better get moving. Your citizen credit system account has been flagged for social non-compliance. You have failed to attend your scheduled citizenship training. An intervention warrant has been placed on your CCS ID. Please return to your place of residence and await the authorities. Thank you for your cooperation. Shit. They'll be heading there now. I gotta scrub my computer. Objective. Reach your apartment before the police. Don't get caught.
before the police. Don't get caught. Out on the ground! Now, maggot! Hello again, Mr. Edwards. Coffee? Something to bring you back to the world of the living? After all, that's why we're here. To protect the fabric of society. But loose threads can quickly cause a tear, Mr. Edwards. Loose threads like jaywalking or riding the train without a ticket, say? Minor infractions. Victimless crimes, you may say, but crimes nonetheless. <sighs> and what about you? No posts on social media, no photos, no girlfriend or boyfriend, no friends at all. Does... <sighs> then there's all that cash you've squirreled away. Did no one tell you about contactless payment? Or does the data trail concern you? Strange, Mr. Edwards. Some might say you were trying to hide something. I keep to myself, that's all. I don't want any trouble. So... How about you save us all some time and tell us what the encrypted data is for? I thought protecting my client's data was a good thing. Listen here, punk. You don't realize how good you have it. The world out there was made by honest, hardworking people. The kind of people who follow rules, have barbecues, take photos, live happy, productive lives. And then there's people like you, troublemakers, malcontents, cancerous growths that metastasize and rot society from within. <sighs> Lucky for you, Mr. Edwards, we're releasing you, but you're on borrowed time. Step out of line again, and I'll make sure I personally get to bring you in. Motherfuckers. Where the hell did they drop me?
Barry Edwards, get in now. You and me gotta talk. Attaboy, we gotta get you out of town. I'll explain on the way. just saved your ass, Barry Edwards. Or should I say, Duke Stroud? What? <laughs> that was some cool shit you pulled ghosting your CCS ID. Okay. This is about my old men, isn't it? Uh, for f if you're looking for a ransom, forget it, man. The only person that old fuck cares about is himself. like some chicken shit kidnapper to you? You really think you walked out of that police station on your own? Whoa. The hell did I do? It's not my fault my old man's a power-hungry asshole. You ain't getting it. There's bigger shit at play. Motherfucker. Cops. You drive. driving for a rookie. But maybe I should have expected more from the B-16 bandit. A telescope for Ahak. I just wanted to mess with some eggheads. Took some doing though, huh? Those ain't your run-of-the-mill security systems. Except you didn't cover your tracks. Now the cops are gonna be so far up your ass, you'll start oinking. Lucky for you, rookie. Me and my associates are willing to take you under our wing. Wait, don't tell me you're with them. What was it, the Freedomers or some crap? The Liberated, and you're welcome. In case you ain't noticed, there's a camera on every corner and a tracker in every terminal. Give me a break. Evil corporation, this tech enslavement, that. What's next? Chemtrails? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Laugh it up. Didn't see you laughing when the police bust into your place, though. <laughs> what was it for this time? Not smiling nice enough for the cameras? Not enough credit card purchases? Not wanting to be watched all the damn time? You got a decision to make, man. What kind of world do you want to live in? One where the system chooses who's free, or one where the free choose the system? Fuck, they sent seekers. Goddamn p Keep your shit together. We got this, okay? 
There's a gun in the glove compartment. Objective. Destroy the drones. Done, rookie. We're here. What is this place? Used to be a Project Manhattan facility. Don't worry, we put up the radioactive sign so no one comes snooping around. You can call it home, for now. Call me Barry. Direct. I like that. There'll be time for small talk later. Come meet the team. This is Rick, a bona fide will hunting. Just watch out for his ego. In a previous life, he helped create the CCS. <laughs> helped. I damn near built the thing single-handed. Then the government went ahead and turned it into a dystopian nightmare. This is Tom, Reverend Tom. He was a teacher at St. Martha's when the bombing happened. Now he's with us. <sighs> I'm glad you're safe, young man. I wish it hadn't come to this. You already know. James here is our mole in the police department, and your guardian angel. He managed to buy you some time before you were ID'd. You're lucky to be alive, kid. All hell broke loose when they found out who you really are. Who oh, I was. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not the son of that sadistic dirtbag who calls himself the Minister of National Security. No arguments here. We've all got things we'd rather leave in the past. Ah. Uh. 
So this is it? You're deliberated? <laughs> no. This is just one of many teams. Once we know you can be trusted, we'll meet the others. Welcome aboard, Barry. Time to earn your keep. Briefing time, quickly. We're behind schedule. The other teams are already on the move. Our target is the Alpha 16 CCS data center located in the Silver River National Security Campus. Security should be minimal, mostly drones and robots as well as a few guards and facility staff. We can enter the data center via the basement or the ground floor. Both give us access to the pumping station that provides water to the facility's central cooling system. The second floor contains the facility's electrical infrastructure and control room. Our target is the servers on the top floor. Keep it simple, ladies. We go in, plant the charges, and blow this thing straight to hell. We'll trigger an alarm 15 minutes before the explosion. That should give any civilians time to evacuate. No collateral damage. We're the good guys, remember? We're expected to sync up with the hits the other teams are carrying out. That's the only way to stop any backups from kicking in. That means no fuck-ups. Are we clear? Me, James, and Tim will enter the building via the front entrance. Tim has the security passes. Rick, keep the car within radio range and take the newbie with you. Maybe you'll learn something. Listen to Rick, people. He designed the security system. Follow his lead and this will all go smoothly. Barry, stay in the car and keep a lookout. No hero shit. Right, let's do this. So, how's life on the lamb? <laughs> Enjoying Rambo's training? Everything's... It's a lot to unpack. I'm still processing. And Tim's not fucking around though, is he? Better here than out there, though, right? Not like we've got much choice. Or hope of winning this war, either. Why are you fighting it, then? <laughs> Maybe I'm a sucker for lost causes. Tim, Tom, even Meg. They believe in this idealistic bullshit. I'm not buying it. For me, it's about cold, hard facts. And the fact... You know, the CCS was originally just a modified credit rating. Income, spending patterns, criminal records, you get the picture. But that's simple stuff. It doesn't tell you the full story of a person's behavior. It won't tell you if they're really a risk or not. That's why we made Themis, an algorithm that can track a person's entire digital life. All it was meant to do was say if someone's trustworthy or not. But then people like your dad wanted to use it to build a better world. And I believe them. I watched as they manipulated Themis to tip the scales a little. Then a lot. It wasn't until the cops came for me that I realized what I'd done. This isn't our world anymore, Barry. And unless our glorious leaders grow some balls to take down Themis, there's no hope of us getting it back. Oh, 
on it, boss. Huh. It looks like someone finally ran a security update. One sec. Just gotta do the hacking thing. Damn it. No dice. We need to do this the old-fashioned way. You're up, Barry. I need you to get to the second floor and bypass the security system. Take a gun and hurry. I'll be in your ear the whole time.
purged of all personal data. A new day has dawned, and with it, the opportunity for a new beginning. Yes, the war, not even close. Most people will go on with their lives like nothing happened, back to taking selfies and posting pictures of their food. This will be nothing more than a blip to them. Sad to say, but we were never going to get through to those people. They can't even begin to imagine life outside the system. And even if somewhere down the line it comes back to bite them in the ass, a bad word about their boss here, a complaint about a late train there, They'll still think it's all their fault. Society's locked in some kind of mass Stockholm Syndrome. What was this all for, then? To reach the people who want to change. To show them that they aren't alone. To give them hope the world can be a better place. If we don't, every day we'll claim more lost souls, more people will succumb to the illusion, and their faith will die out. 
We must be the light at the end of the tunnel. Only then will we convince others to follow. Now, more than ever, I'm convinced the key is St. Martha's. That day, what scared me most wasn't losing the people I cared for. It was the lies, the harassment, the cover-up. Those children, may God watch over them, deserved better. Their parents deserved the truth, closure. They couldn't, wouldn't believe what they were being told. So they started digging. That was when people started to vanish, to move away, to have their darkest secrets leaked onto the web for the vultures to pick through. You know, I remember a time when people could protest peacefully. Now we're forced to resort to violence and underhand tricks to demand answers. Sadly, there's no other way. Only revealing the truth will give the lie to the government's web of deceit. I pray that day comes sooner rather than later. Amen, Father. Guys, there's one more thing we have to do while the system's down. Tim, let's go. You too, Barry. I could use you out there. <laughs> A good old-fashioned curfew. The government's afraid of its own shadow without all its toys. Split up. It'll be easier to get past them. Meet me at the corner of Main and 11th.
Over here. This is it. The Minister of National Security. Our country is under attack. Vital systems, including access to the medical records of critically ill children. Clearly, they have no concern for human life. Evening. You not heard? There's a curfew. We're closed. We're here because of a mutual friend. You deaf or something? You need to leave. Now. We need to talk, Brandon Chang. That's it. I'm calling the cops. It's about St. Martha's. Those families deserve the truth. Said, get lost. You two got a death wish as well, huh? Cool, little old man. We're leaving, okay?
Department has announced... ...which resulted in the death of the Minister of National Security's son, Duke Stroud. Police are investigating the incident as politically motivated. Thoughts and prayers for the Minister have been flooding in from around the world. Warning, you are now entering. Morning, Cap. How do we find this place? Some of our drones went down not far from here. Came to retrieve them. Stumbled on this place. We don't know anything about the site, but we saw vehicle activity here last night. What about the radiation? The levels on the maps are through the roof. Strange thing is, there's nothing on the Geiger counters. Something's not right about this place, Cap. No one can track down the blueprints for the site. It's like it never existed. All we know is that it used to be a Project Manhattan facility. Top secret. Could have been a missile silo, or a bunker maybe. Can't say for sure from out here. We scouted the area and identified these hangars. There's also signs of an extensive tunnel network. Entrances here, here, and here. Just give us the word and we'll storm the place. They won't know what hit him. In position. Eyes on your Geiger counters. Orders are to pull back at the first sign of radiation. Alpha team, on me. I suggest you take cover until we've cleared the area, sir.
Glad you could make it to the party, Cap. There's multiple hostiles on the other side of that door. We've sent a demolition drone in through the vents. Here, you're gonna need something with more firepower.
This is what I've been saying all along, Bob. Terrorism is the challenge of our times. I don't know about you, but I don't mind sacrificing a few liberties if it means our children can grow up in a safe world. Chet's absolutely right. If the authorities don't have the power to fight back, how are they going to protect us? Mark my words, ladies and gentlemen, we will hunt.
Where's Harry? Carlton said he's running late. Something to do with marrying the kids. You know how it is. <sighs> Same old Harry. We're about to get chewed out by the man who signs our paychecks, and he's running errands. There he is. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting, fellas. The Minister will see you now. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh, come in, gentlemen. Uh, please take a seat. Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? We need to nip this terrorism thing in the bud. Now. I've brought you here to ask you to head up a special task force, the sole purpose of which will be to root out dissent and dissatisfaction wherever they may be. You boys are the best of the best, our nation's finest, beloved by the media, trusted by your communities, more importantly trusted by me. I know as a matter of fact that I can count on your discretion. Gentlemen, what do you think it is that we lack in this fight? Uh, I'll tell you. Information. It's not that the data isn't there. Every single bank, social network, surveillance center, and insurance company this side of the Mississippi is sat on a veritable treasure trove of information. What we need is to bring it all together. If we're to stay ahead of these terrorists, we'll need to know more than them. Now, I do expect there'll be some resistance, but no law-abiding citizen has anything to fear. Someday, they'll be writing speeches about the work you fine gentlemen are about to do. I want you to supervise the creation of the world's most sophisticated police database. I expect it to be capable of predicting crime before it even happens. We've already got the banks and tech giants on board. They're eager to play ball. Over the moon, in fact. This will give them the chance to understand their customers better. Every, and I mean every bit of information matters. Hell, I want to know if a flea shits in Florida if it helps us keep this country safe. If someone buys a bus ticket or takes a cab, we should know where they're going, what they're doing, and if it's legal. To make sure it's traceable, cash payments for those services can be phased out. If someone's purchase history shows they have an unhealthy diet, we can automatically assign them to a high-risk pool and increase their insurance premiums accordingly. Hell, we can even tax their damn diabetes. If someone isn't posting pictures on social media, we need to know what they're hiding. Maybe they're a pervert, a terrorist, or maybe just some misanthrope who has a chip on their shoulder. Good citizens must be rewarded, bad ones eliminated. Another tragedy like St. Martha's cannot be allowed to happen ever again. Gentlemen, we are to blame for the deaths of those children. That tragedy rests on our shoulders. But together we can atone for our sins. We must dedicate our lives to ensuring that the future of this nation is one of security and prosperity. What 
the hell just happened? Looks like we got a promotion, fellas. How are we gonna pull this off? Mass surveillance is one thing, but this? This is our job, Chang. We all joined the force to keep people safe. It can't hurt to have all that information at our fingertips. But where do we draw the line? We're talking about people's whole lives here. You got a better idea, Chang? At least this way, we'll always be a step ahead. About damn time as well. I'm sick and tired of perps having the jump on us. Think about it. No more putting assholes back on the street just because we don't have the evidence to pin a crime on them. You really don't have a problem with all this? the minister. Honest people have nothing to fear. But criminals? They always have something to hide. And we'll be there to catch them red-handed. What jury's gonna doubt proof like that? Yeah, <laughs> um, I guess I'm getting too old for this shit. Maybe I should retire. Tire? <laughs> Give me a break. That badge means everything to you. What would you even do, Chang? Go fishing? Work in your son's store? Who knows? Maybe. Thank <laughs> you.
enough. What was it, huh? The kids? The principal? Or was it all some sick little game to you? Whatever it was, we'll find out. It's just a matter of time. I can keep this up all night, old man. And when you break, we can start working on that public confession of yours. Save yourself the agony, Tom. This can all end if you just give us some names. No? Well, that's a shame. We could have helped each other out here. I'll be back tomorrow to see if you come to your senses. Mary, Lynn, Olivia, William. Emma, Charles, George, Anna. Good. Now. They, they were my responsibility. They trusted me to keep them safe. They had their whole lives ahead of them. They were innocent children. You murdered them. And for what? Money? Power? Goodbye, Tom. May God have mercy on your...
strike, you'll have to go down the floor. Careful, Cap. There aren't many cameras on this floor, so stay alert. Incoming! They're wearing bulletproof vests!
tell them anything. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to make it, Tim. Tim, please. <coughs> put, put. You didn't deserve this. Any of this. They're going to pay. I'm going to. No, Tim. Don't throw your life away. On revenge. You always were the level-headed one. Uh, someone had to be. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye. Try to get to us.
What? I, I thought... What, what are you doing here, Chang? I came to see you. Then I'll... First the young man at my store. <laughs> then the attack in the desert. We have to talk about St. Martha's. We can't stay silent anymore. You were so young back then, full of purpose. <laughs> it was all so complicated. What are you saying, Chang? Chang, talk to me. Please don't go. Just keep talking, Chang. Help's almost here. Don't go. I'm sorry. Please. Please don't go. Oh, what have I done? Hello, Frank. Harry! I should shoot you where you stand. But you won't. First, you don't have a gun. Second, there are three liberated snipers with their sights fixed on you. What do you want? It's time to end this, Frank. Sure, call off your snipers, and let's settle it like we did in the old days. Careful. I wouldn't be acting so tough if I were you. Fuck you, Harry. Just tell me one thing. Why'd you do it? Why'd you betray us? Because they took everything from me. 
We all mourned when Mary left us, Harry. But that doesn't give you the right to murder innocent people. Shut the hell up. You're just as much to blame. All this was our fault, Frank. We're the ones who taught the police force. They're above the law. If you can't stick someone with a crime, just make up a charge. Resisting arrest, assaulting a police officer, disturbing the peace, say whatever you need to in court, even if it means lying in front of a jury. A potential threat is a potential threat, right? The ends justify the means. I'd like to believe we had good intentions, <laughs> but we all know what the road to hell is paved with. And let's not forget our masterpiece, Frank. Our coup de fucking gras. Behind every trumped up charge, every bogus sentence, there's the CCS, a nationalized protection racket owned by our nation's wealthiest. And we're the muscle, lap dogs to avarice and ambition, patsies who terrorize the people we're supposed to protect. And what do we get in return? A few medals, a pat on the back, a nice pay raise. We're hypocrites who hide behind fear and hollow principles. And it never occurred to us that our loved ones might get caught up in the system we built. Chang was the first one who had enough. But what did he do? He fled into retirement. Coward. I suppose he wouldn't have stood a chance against us. What about the dozens of officers you've slaughtered? Don't you feel any remorse, man? Do you feel anything for the poor men and women you gunned down in the desert? Did you really think we wouldn't retaliate for that? In a world where protest is a crime, violence is the only way disputes can be settled. You know that better than anyone. So, is that it? You're here to deliver a sermon? No. I came here for justice. To finally reveal the truth about St. Martha's. Do you remember all those unexplained events during the investigation? Strange government vehicle activity around the school a few days before the attack, false alarms throughout the city that kept leaving us short of squad cars. There's something wrong there, Frank. It's time we knew the truth. We just need to find the right government archive. All I hear is crackpot conspiracy theories. You need help, Harry. You need to stop this. You and I both know it's the thousands of police officers out there to keep this country running. Every day, people get up and go to work. They take the kids to school, go shopping, go to the movies. They live their lives. They go about their business because we make it possible. Because we keep them safe. The alternative is war. Terrorism. Is that what you want? To take away people's sense of security? Deny them a peaceful life? Leave them with nothing but uncertainty and chaos? Our world isn't perfect. Hell, far from it. But I'd rather have this than whatever nightmare you'd have us live in. Mark my words, Harry. The next time we meet, I'll have that gun. And I won't hesitate to put a bullet between your eyes.
is crazy. Another raid within the space of a few days, and this time on the fucking Secret Service headquarters. We're not trying to be subtle, are we? <laughs> not at all. But what else can we do? They're on to us now. If we don't step up our game, we ain't gonna succeed. And that's what Tom wanted, you know? We just gotta hope that when it's all finally over and people learn the truth, they'll change their minds and rise up against the authorities. But how? Where's the evidence? Do we even know what we're looking for? Hell if I know. But my brother believed in the people. He was sure they'd stand up in the face of injustice if they saw it for themselves. And I believed in my brother. I hope you're right. Yeah, and I hope this goddamn skyscraper has something worthwhile in it. This ain't gonna be easy. Squad car 17 here. I'm on it. Over. All free units. All free units. Fire at the South Park Metro Station. Secure the area. Support the fire brigade.
I'm at the scene. Nothing going on here. Over. Stay alert. We've got reports of gunfire. Backup's on the way. Copy. Over. Seems Mag made a bigger splash than you did at the station. Afraid so. You'd better get ready. All hell's about to break loose. Time for plan B. Yeah. Good luck, man. I'm going in.
units to blend into the crowd of police officers. in the archive. Not seeing anything interesting yet. Nope. Nothing here. Let's hope Mech has more luck upstairs. More luck with what? More luck with what, Jim? Fucking traitor! You're the one who set the explosives at the police station! I I easy now. Let's talk. The blood of countless officers is on your hands. of scum. Gotta hurry. There's too many of them. They cut off the ground floor. I'm almost done. Sending it to Rick. Fuck. No connection. They're scrambling the signal. We'll send it later. Let's go! The ground floor is closed off. We gotta get to the roof. Nothing from Rick and James. Let's hold here. We'll wait for the charges downstairs to go off, count to five, then make a dash to the other side of the roof. This is the best plan we've got? Waiting around? If we lost our connection so quickly and the signal inside the building is scrambled, the charges might not go off. You're right, fine. Time to improvise. Run for it! Freeze! Don't fucking move! Captain Frank Robbins. We found the evidence. We can prove the attack on St. Martha's was carried out by special forces. Save it for the judge. You know the truth won't make it anywhere near court. They'll destroy it. It's unlikely we'll survive in custody that long anyway. Fuck your self-righteous conspiracy theories. You really think anyone's gonna listen to a pair of serial killers?
We have proof. Shit! Military choppers! Three hostiles on the roof. One armed. Gun pointed at the other two. Might be a police officer. Unable to verify. Copy that. Executing kill order. No loose ends. We are the liberated. The state media calls us murderers, terrorists, but it was the government that declared war on the people. We will no longer tolerate their lies, nor fear their wrath. We sacrificed everything to uncover the truth, and now we are sharing it with you. These documents reveal the sickness in our society. Read them, share them, see how your masters have manipulated and deceived you. It's time to wake up. It's time to say no to the system. Ha! Huh. Another big political scandal. I hope everyone's got their popcorn ready. Fake news. Probably just the Ruskies at it again. Mark the spam. Yeah, nice Photoshop work there, idiots. My grandma could do better than that. And she's been fucking dead for the last seven years. Come on, guys, this looks legit. My uncle used to work in the security services, and he always said they got away with this shit, like, all the time. Shared and liked. Bull fucking shit. More anti-government whining from butt-hurt lip-tarts who can't face the fact they lost? QQ and grow the fuck up, sugar tits. Admin, delete this already for the sake of the victims' families. They've been through enough. <laughs> LOL. 23 gigabytes of files? Yeah, no. I will wait until someone releases the movie. What's wrong with you all? There's some real shit in this thing. Download it. See for yourself. They've been lying to us. Warning. After downloading those files, my antivirus went batshit. Don't download. Just an attempt to hijack your computers. Those files contain a virus. Faking shit about a terrorist attack? Someone should whoop these guys' asses for real. Bet we can track back their IP. Who's with me? LOL. The admin deleted the attachments. Can someone tell me what was there? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Why is nobody talking about tonight's game? Did you not see that touchdown? Now oh, that's front page news right there. New email from model citizen at Gava. Alert. 
Your citizen credit system account has been flagged for social non-compliance. Huh? What time is it? Uh, I'll have to phone work and tell them I'll be late, but it should be all right. You get going. An investigation is underway following the skyscraper attack that took place last week. Preparations for the funeral of Captain Frank Robbins, the hero of St. Martha's, who tragically died during the attack, are already underway. Morning, Steve. Morning, Bob. How's Jen? We've all been missing her. She's fine. Settling into the new position. She definitely prefers the regular hours. <laughs> yeah, the graveyard shifts can be a real killer. Sure wish I could get a promotion like that. <sighs> Guess I need to get working on my KPIs first, though. You said it. Just gotta keep our noses to the grindstone, huh? Got a message from Liam. Let's see what we have here. George Nash. All right, check profile. Hmm, seems clean. Makes good money. And a family man. So why stare at a pot, Georgie boy? Hmm? Interesting. Let's see what we missed. Nothing. Really? Just another scumbag. Busy. Lots of new cases this week. I sent you an email about a guy I found. Take a look when you get a chance. I saw. It's already on my to-do list. Just phoned to let you know I might have to stay longer today. Remember to pick the kids up on time, okay? Just watch out, Michael's in one of his moods again. Where were we, George? Okay. See what... See what we find now. Confirm. 
No ticket? Bad man. But not bad enough. Confirm. Getting warmer. Jeez, what a boy scout. Confirm. Yeah, yeah. All right, now we're talking. Good riddance. Hi, honey. Looks like I'll have to stay longer at work after all. We're still organizing the funerals for the victims of last week's skyscraper attack. I'll get something for dinner on the way home, okay? Okay. I let the kids know they're in for a treat. And the final touch. Douche. You taking off? Yeah, I have to pick up the kids. See you tomorrow, then. Dad! There you are! How was school? Okay. But math's so boring. Well, how about I help you with it after dinner? I bet that would make it more fun. Mom, today at school we talked about work and what our parents do. What do you and Daddy do? We catch bad people, Angel. We stop them from hurting everyone else. Wow, so you're like superheroes. Cool, I want to do that when I grow up. George Nash, open up, police! Stay right there, scumbag. Stand back! This man has been charged with disturbing the peace and spreading terrorist propaganda. All requests to contact him will be denied. If there is any indication you are complicit in his crimes, charges will be brought against you. The law is the law.
You've been doing a lot of overtime recently. I'm getting a little worried. Yeah, it's been intense. Hopefully it'll quiet down again soon. I just... I just don't want anyone to think I'm not up to it, you know? The minister will see you now. Minister, it's an honor. Please accept our condolences. We were shocked when we heard about your son's death. That's very kind of you. These are trying times indeed, but we cannot let those animals get the better of us. Ah, uh, uh, where are my manners? Please, take a seat. Now, as you well know, there have been many casualties in our struggle for a safe and prosperous world. My son is only one in a long string of senseless murders. Unfortunately, I've brought you here today to discuss another tragic death. As it stands, Captain Frank Robbins' state funeral is of utmost importance. He was a beacon of stability and integrity in a sea of chaos, a role model for all citizens. He fought night and day to stamp out the terrorist threat to our great nation. Frank, to put it simply, was a true hero. Now, his sacrifice must not be in vain. His spirit is needed more than ever before, and it is my intention that he is glorified and remembered by us all. This funeral of his needs to be a demonstration of unity. It is absolutely imperative that we rally the nation around him. I don't want any surprises, is that clear? I'm asking for your support and understanding in this matter. Of course, you can count on us, Minister. One more thing before you go. Let, let the authorities deal with Frank's files. He deserves to be remembered as a hero. Everyone has their weaknesses, but in this case it would be better for the future of this country if we let sleeping dogs lie. Of course, Minister. We understand the gravity of the situation. Good. And remember, glory to the heroes. Glory to the heroes. Frank's profile has disappeared from the CCS, just as we expected. It wasn't going to be much use anyway. If you're interested, I'm almost finished editing the footage we got from the waterfront. Sure. Let's see if you're as good as you say. Of course I knew the government was behind St. Martha's. We all did. But what was I supposed to do? The ministers are above the law. I don't have the power to stop them. So, what do you think? Convincing? Looks like you can keep bragging, Rick. Good job. What the hell's going on here? 
remember their conversation. He didn't say anything like that. Who the hell cares? He knew what was going on. He just didn't have the balls to admit it. Now he'll get a chance to tell the truth. Some simple video processing, a deep fake, and voila. Think about it, Meg. If they make Frank into some kind of martyr, this video will blow a hole in their bullshit. He doesn't deserve to be remembered as a hero, Meg. I ever tell you about my niece, Emily? She would have been your age now. She was raped by some pumped up prick officers who had one too many beers. At first she kept it from us, but little by little it ate away at her. The confident young lady I knew slowly disappeared. When I confronted her about it, she broke down and told me everything. I was naive. I encouraged her to file a report to fight for justice and make sure they paid for what they did. Even when they laughed her out of the station, she managed to find the courage to file a lawsuit, but it was her word against theirs. But they were bulletproof. All thanks to Frank. Every power he'd ever exploited, every loophole he'd ever created, it all meant the police were beyond question. <laughs> but that wasn't the end of it. I don't know how the fuck they did it, but they managed to make her out as the aggressor. Suddenly, she was facing two counts of assaulting a police officer. Corruption breeds corruption. When they found out it was my niece, Frank stepped in. And just like that, they offered her a settlement. Emily jumped off the roof of her apartment block. She couldn't live with the disgrace. So I did what the courts couldn't. I sent those cowardly motherfuckers to an early grave. And I should have done the same to Frank. Meg, this team sacrificed too much to get this far. Don't go soft on us now. <sighs> okay, what's the plan?
negative. Defend the room until the transmission ends. Good afternoon. Meg, right? Do you mind if I call you Meg? That's okay. No rush. But sooner or later, you'll want to talk. You see, Meg, you're never leaving this place. So get comfy. We've got all the time in the world. You must be curious about what happened after your little stunt with the video. Sorry to disappoint you, Meg. Nobody saw it. It never even left the building. But it gets better. We had someone watching you this entire time. Someone who wanted a chance to redeem himself to leave the past behind and help build a brighter future for us all. I'd say he's earned it, wouldn't you?